Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and today we are going to discuss about this kinesia which can be found in a Parkinson patient. But first, we need to understand what is this kinesia. In simple words, this kinesia is referred to when any part of your body goes out of your control and keep doing a movement again and again. It may be your hand, it may be your muscles or of your face or it may be the muscles of your legs. So now the big question arises, how is dyskinesia caused? The answer is, dyskinesia is often seen as a side effect of levodopa or syndopa. For example, when we take any medication for the Parkinson for a long period of time to suppress it, we often give dopamine in the form of levodopa or syndopa, which is an artificial way, which in turn can cause dyskinesia as a side effect. Now the question arises, if someone is having this kinesia, then what is the solution? So for this, we have to go a little bit deeper and understand Parkinson's disease. So our brain is made up of millions of neuron cells and these neuron cells are specialized cells, which helps the body to perform important tasks. But when someone has Parkinson's, then these same specialized cells start dying in the brain making it difficult for our brain to control the body movement. Our memory starts getting weak and we get to see Parkinson's symptom in the body. Another thing we need to understand here is that if the cells are dying, they will not be able to release enough dopamine. Now we know that we are getting less dopamine. So the first thing we do is to increase dopamine level by prescribing syndopa or levodopa medication. This in turn causes dyskinesia. Till now, we have discussed what is dyskinesia and how it is caused. Now we will move to the treatment part. The first we need to consider here is if we want to control dyskinesia or Parkinson, then we have to control or stop our cells from being damaged. One should understand that if the cells in the brain starts dying, then Parkinson will start increasing. The amount of syndopa or levodopa will have to be increased and our dyskinesia will also increase. So our first priority should be not let the cells die in the brain. And to make this possible, we give the brain cell what it requires in the form of food and exercise. In essence, we have to indulge in positively dietary changes, which means we should consume food which are beneficial for our brain health. So a patient should consume food which are rich in protein, vitamin, mineral and amino acid. I have already shared a couple of videos regarding what should be the diet for the Parkinson patient. You can check that out too. Now coming back to the topic, our brain is the organ that consumes the most energy from the food we eat. If we go in the detail, we can find that 70% of the energy is consumed by the brain alone. So it is requested for all the Parkinson patient to consume healthy amount of vitamin and mineral, especially protein, because we all know the whole body is made up of protein and its deficiency is increased, then the brain cell won't be able to repair itself, thereby hindering the recovery process. So it is essential to provide right diet and proper exercise to improve our brain health. Because our improved brain health means our dependency on syndopa, levodopa will be reduced and neither the side effects which is dyskinesia will occur. I hope this video cleared all your doubt regarding dyskinesia. Still, if you think I missed some part, do share us your valuable queries in the comment section. I will see you all in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Namaste.